My name is Alexis Moffat, and I will be talking about the origin of Greek mythology and how it affected the theater. But first, we have to talk about the origin of Greek mythology and why, was it, why it was important to the people of ancient Greece. First, we have to understand that this was a part of their everyday lives. It was used to answer life's big and small questions, like what happens to us when we die and why, they have the, why, they have the, why we have thunderstorms. As History.com brings out, it gave meaning to the world around them. There is no single source that tells us about the gods and goddesses because their stories were passed down orally. We learn about them mostly through the tales of Greek heroes. For example, the poet Homer's epics, the Iliad and the Odyssey were written about the mythical Trojan War, which was a conflict between the gods and a conflict between humans. History.com brings out that in neither epic are the gods and goddesses introduced. That's because the people hearing the epics already knew who the gods and goddesses were and what they represented, so there is no need for such introductions. There are many gods and goddesses, too many to name, but there are 12 Olympians. Among them are Zeus, king of the gods, Hera, queen of the gods and marriage, Ares, god of war, Athena, goddess of wisdom and defense, Demeter, goddess of the, ag goddess of the agriculture and grain, Hephaestus, god of fire and metalwork, Apollo, the god of prophecy, music, poetry, and knowledge, Hermes, the god of travel, hospitality, and trade, Poseidon, the god of the sea, Artemis, goddess of the hunt, Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty, Dionysus, god of wine, pleasure, and festivity. Among them, you had three who ruled over the, do the domains. Zeus ruled the skies, Poseidon ruled the ocean, and Hades ruled the underworld. The people believe that the gods and goddesses had a direct influence on their lives. When they had favor with the gods, their lives prospered. They had good weather, their crops grew, and the people were happy. But when they lost favor, they were struck with storms and terrible things would happen in their lives. But they also believed that the gods held grudges, so it was important not to anger them. But they also believed that they were affected by the actions of gods towards other gods. For example, the story of Persephone, who was the daughter of Demeter and Zeus. She was taken to the underworld by Hades, and when her mother went to look for her, she neglected the crops, so they died. When she found out where her daughter was, she demanded her return, but by that time, Persephone had already eaten food from the underworld, so she had to stay. It was decided that Persephone would spend half the year with her mother and half with Hades. This gave them their seasons. When she is with her mother, the people had spring and summer, but when she is with Hades, they had fall and winter. All of the things that happened in their lives, they attributed to the gods. Switching to talk about the theater, there were three types of plays. Each definition of these plays are from Britannia.com. Satyr plays were a genre of Greek dramas that had the structure and characters of tragedies while adopting a happy atmosphere and a rural background. Comedy plays poked fun at politics, philosophers, and other playwriters. They also gave an insight into Greek society. Tragedies were plays where the protagonist, usually a person of importance or has had some outstanding qualities, fall into disaster through a combination of personal failings and circumstances that he or she could not deal with. In most of the plays, the gods and goddesses were present, and if they weren't, their children were. For example, Heracles, or as most people know him by his Roman name, Hercules. These characters often appeared as driving forces, villains, onlookers, and even as protectors. Now we're going to talk about some Greek tragedy playwriters. Excuse me if I butcher their names. Epidurus, who was a tragedy playwriter, wrote this play Hipp Hippolytus, which is which in where Aphrodite, the goddess of love and sexual desire, destroys Hippolytus, a lover of outdoor sports, who repelled, who is repelled by sexual passion, and who instead devote, was devoted to the virgin huntress Artemis. He also wrote the madness of Hercules. Hercules was driven mad by the goddess Hera, and he killed his wife and children. Subsequently, Hercules recovered from his from this. And after some time, some time spent in suicidal despair, he is taken to spend an honorable retirement in Athens. Another playwright was Solipheus. Solif he wrote the play Ajax, 
which is about a mighty Trojan hero whose pride drives him to try to kill Odysseus. And after Athena intervenes and stops this from happening, he commits suicide. Those are just a few plays and playwrights. There was also festivals dedicated to the gods, like the Great Dionysa, which is a festival dedicated to Dionysus that happens in March, where all three plays are put on. This brought the people together in Athens. This was a festival attended by all types of people, both men and women alike. In conclusion, Greek mythology was interwoven throughout all types of plays put on in ancient Greece, and it helped them define themselves as a people and give meaning to their lives. Thank you.